All right, you guys, Sylvia here, and I am wanting to do a video, an assessment of my Shimano Steps E8000. I've had it for just over a year, and I, I figured it was time to let you guys know what I think about it and how it's working out for me. And when I was planning the video, I had all these ideas. I thought, oh, I'll get my drone out, I'll use the 360 camera, and I'll start it writing. And so I just came back from a ride and tried using the drone, tried using the 360 camera, and no matter what I did, like nothing turned out. And I got back to the church and I'm looking at some of the footage and my shirt was inside out and I had food in my teeth. <laughs> and so I am doing this video over again and uh, just gonna make it simple. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. All right, you guys, Sylvia here, and I'm doing this video again. Oh my God, it's just been the craziest day, uh, beautiful day. And I am now uh, behind the uh, church here, my truck and trailer, and uh, there's a nursery daycare center next door. So you'll probably hear some kids playing outside, but I just want to talk about my electric assist, my Shimano Steps E8000. And this is my trike. It's a HP Velotechnic Scorpion FS20. So it has 20 inch wheels all the way around. And I had the Shimano Steps E8000 system installed about a year ago, a little more than a year ago. It was a year ago, October. It was installed as a retrofit kit. And so this is the electric assist this bolt here on the boom and you can see it's welded onto the boom this is a retrofit kit and so we took out the original boom put this one in switched out the uh, pedals and that was pretty much pretty much it um, you can see I have one chain ring in the front I really like the simplicity and then um, I turned it on with the battery there's a little button on the battery and then this is the controls for it. So this is the controls for the Shimano Steps E8000. And the E8000 has three modes, Eco, Trail, and Boost. And within each of those modes, with your phone and Bluetooth, you can go in and there are three levels um, per mode, low, medium, and high. And I have actually done that. And um, I think I have eco on high, trail on medium, and boost on medium. And that seems to be working pretty well for me. This one, you have to toggle through it. So you've got miles per hour, distance, the odometer, range left, the range. So this is in boost mode. And it'll say 39 miles for trail and then um, in the lowest power mode, I've got 52 miles left. And you just keep going around um, until you're back back uh, to the screen that you want it to be on. There you go, miles per hour. Um, so I've shown you the, the battery and you can see that there's lights to see how much charge you have left. And then I have a second battery here but this one is just mounted. It's just a, a place to keep it. And I really like having two batteries. Um, I really like having the weight distribution so that it's evenly distributed on the trike. Um, I found particularly when I was touring that I could actually feel the one battery, especially on the right side. And I had my handlebar bag um, on that side too. And so I could really feel the weight moving to that side to the point where it kind of felt like it was going to tip a little bit and so i really appreciate having the weight distribution um, you know more even and then also with two batteries uh, you can run run them down further you don't have to worry about having them charged up all the time for your next ride you can let it run down and then when it goes flat you can just switch them out um, batteries typically get I think they're typically rated for a thousand charges and then you start to see that you're not getting as many miles per charge um, and so every time you charge it whether it's low or half full you know it's still one charge and so this way I'll be able to get 
uh, more charges per battery, uh, more miles per battery too. So almost immediately after I had uh, this system installed, I went on a tour down the Pacific Coast and I had, of course, everything for camping, um, everything that I needed in the bags. And this system is a 250 watt motor. It's, um, you know, it's built for Europe and they have laws. You're not allowed to have anything bigger than a 250 watt motor in Europe. And I was a little bit concerned that that wasn't enough power for touring, but in fact, I really had no issues. My style of touring may be different than other people's. Um, I really have never needed to be fast. I really just wanted to be faster. So particularly climbing, and there is a lot of climbing on this Pacific Coast route. Um, you know, without the electric assist, my speed is typically two and a half, three miles an hour. And so with the assist and trying to be a little bit more economical, I was able to ride at five to eight miles an hour uh, climbing, sometimes very pretty steep hills, and I could still get 40 to 45 miles per battery. Uh, so I, I was really, really pleased with that. And my typical day of touring is usually 35, 40 miles. So I was able to get where I was going on one battery. Um, very rarely did I need to switch out the batteries um, while I was on the road. And I, I just thought that was, I thought that worked out really, really well. Um, before I had this installed, I was, was very reluctant to switch over to electric assist. And my thinking about it was that I didn't really need it, that physically I was able to get where I was going and um, electric assist was for people that needed it. And I now know, since I've had this installed, that that is just um, a silly way of thinking. And I really do wish that I had had it installed earlier. One of the things that it has given me is just a lot more freedom. I can ride with pretty much anybody. Uh, before, I was so slow that I pretty much had to ride alone. And now, I can ride with pretty much anyone, whether they have electric assist or they're just really strong riders. And it has just made everything so much, just so much easier for me. I have never been able to pick up my trike. And so even without the electric assist, I would have to use ramps. That might be a consideration is, you know, how are you gonna get the trike in and out of maybe your home or in and out of your car? Uh, because there's going to be extra weight on it. Um, to be honest, I knew at one point how much this all weighed, but I, I can't remember how much more. I, I wanna say it's about 20 extra pounds with the two batteries and the motor. The only other consideration that I have, and it is something I'm going to have to think about when all this coronavirus stuff is hopefully behind us, I would like to continue touring. I would like to go to Europe and the UK and tour around places I haven't been before. And with the electric assist, it is not possible to get the batteries on a plane. And so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get batteries where I'm going. You can ship them um, by ground, by ship, but they cannot go on a plane. And so, you know, it's gonna be probably another year. So I will have had the system, I guess, maybe two and a half years by the time that's an issue and you know it's possible that technology will have advanced to a point where the batteries will be smaller and lighter and I'll be able to go further on a battery and maybe I'll just buy new batteries um, but that is something to consider uh, about this electric assist and I think that's about it I can't really think of anything else at the moment if um, you have a question if you think of something please leave a comment in the comment section below. You know how much I enjoy hearing from everybody. And I hope you remain uh, safe and healthy. And as always, thank you for watching.